With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hey everyone, so in this question it is given that the reaction of phenol with chloroform, sodium hydroxide to give ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde involves the formation of which of the intermediate is going to form in this case it is asked. Now if you see the reagents which are involved in this case, the starting material is phenol OH and a benzene group is attached to OH, this becomes our phenol molecule. It is said we have chloroform that means CH, Cl3, with this we have NaOH in addition to this and it is forming orthohydroxy benzaldehyde. Orthohydroxy means we have OH, at the ortho position we have hydroxyl group and benzaldehyde means CHO group. So this is my orthohydroxy benzaldehyde. Now this reaction's name is riemer tumann reaction. In this what will happen is this chloroform and first of all the reaction intermediate which is formed that is if I write down the mechanism. The chloroform reacts with sodium hydroxide that is if I write CHCl3 like this it doesn't make any difference right sodium hydroxide will take up the proton from this and this will form a carbocation CCl3 now this CCl3 what will happen one chlorine atom will be lost and then this becomes CCl2 and the name of this intermediate is benzene sorry not benzene it is actually dichlorocarbene dichloro carbene which is the intermediate formed and this intermediate is going to react with the phenol molecule so as to form the other product that is this orthohydroxy benzaldehyde now if you check the options we have first option itself we have dichlorocarbene so this will be the correct answer for this question second is trichlorocarbene trichlorocarbene is never formed in that case so this is incorrect chlorine atoms this is also not correct chlorine molecules this is also not correct only correct option is dichlorocarbene now, if you want to see the reaction which is going to happen in this case first we have obtained the dichlorocarbene now what will happen the phenol group which is present over here will react with sodium hydroxide to give a phenoxide ion that is O minus and now I will write down the double bonds. In the next part what happens is this reacts with CCl2 the dichlorocarbene. How? This negative charge will shift over here this will generate a negative charge on this part and this negative charge will take up this carbon and the formation of this product is going to happen. If I write down over here this is O double bond here I will have one hydrogen here I will have C Cl Cl and rest rest of the part as it is I can write down right this will be this will be having a negative charge on this part a negative charge on this carbon atom and the double bonds as it is so once I get this part what will happen in the next part is there will be taking up of this hydrogen this negative charge which is present over here will take up this hydrogen and the molecule which now I am going to obtain will have a structure which is going to be equivalent to so this bond will be taken and this bond shifts over here and this bond comes over here so this is O negative and resonance is gained back by the molecule C I will have then I will have again Cl and Cl right so if I want to write down make the arrow shorter Cl hydrogen and Cl so this is the molecule which I am going to obtain now in the next step what happens is I have NaOH present NaOH present so what will this NaOH do it will act as a nucleophile now this will attack on this carbon atom which will help in the removal of one chlorine atom so one chlorine atom will be lost from this case and you will have the structure as I will write down with a different pen O minus then I have C Cl is lost I have gained hydroxyl group is gained or if I want to write I can write down hydroxyl group above so as 
this can be easily shown the proton taken up by this negative charge so i have one chlorine and here i have one hydrogen so in the next step what will happen this negative charge which is present over here will take up this hydrogen and the product which i am going to get is oh there's a double bonds c here i will have a negative charge chlorine hydrogen this will shift over here which will help in the removal of this chlorine atom and finally the structure is going to be oh c double bond o h which is the ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde final molecule which is obtained so the correct answer would be the formation of dichlorocarbene is going to happen so option a is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today